The Good Neighbor, The Life and Work of Fred Rogers. Every weekday, for decades, a kind man named Mr. Rogers stepped through a door in his TV house, spoke directly into the camera while he changed from street clothes into a cardigan sweater and sneakers, and he sang, It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Offering unconditional love, this soft-spoken icon was a household name for tens of millions of children, as well as their parents who grew up with this friendly neighbor themselves. Fred Rogers, born in 1928 and who passed away in 2003, was an enormously influential pioneer in the history of television for almost 40 years. As the creator and star of public television's Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, he was a champion of compassion, equality, and kindness. Rogers was fiercely devoted to children and to taking their fears, concerns, and questions about the world seriously. The Good Neighbor, the first full-length biography of Fred Rogers, tells the story of this unique and enduring American figure. Based on original interviews, oral histories, and archival documents, The Good Neighbor traces Rogers' personal, professional, and artistic life through decades of work, including a surprising decision to walk away from the show in 1976. Fred Rogers returned to his neighborhood with increasingly sophisticated episodes created in collaboration with experts on child development, and they talked about complex issues such as divorce, discipline, mistakes, anger, and competition. Fred Rogers' work and his messages still resonate with parents and children today, especially in a world where the human values he championed are too often forgotten or neglected. Taking readers beyond the gentleman in the sweater, the good neighbor is the definitive portrait of a beloved figure cherished by multiple generations. Author Maxwell King is the CEO of the Pittsburgh Foundation. After a career in journalism, including eight years as editor of the Philadelphia Inquirer, King served as president of the Pittsburgh-based Heinz Endowments for nearly a decade. 